Ring Sensation! This is my first video without two. Today, I'm going to make a submarine out of cardboard. Yes, yes, you heard it right, cardboard. All right, cardboard is already here. Where are the scissors? No! Susie, where are my scissors? Oh, typical Sammy. Can you search for them yourself, please? Oh, typical Sammy. Actually, I'm very independent in this video. What is that? Oh, these are the parts of our future Spanish house. Let's build it, Susie! Oh, what about being independent? And the submarine? I passed that level. While the Spanish house is a real challenge, plus I really love Spain. Vamos a la playa, a mi me gusta bailar. El rico de la noche, son ya fiesta. All right, Sammy, you got me. Let's get started. Si, sí, senora. Hi, guys. This foundation will be the base of our Spanish house. Let's apply some glue to the base. Move like this, as if you're drawing waves. Cool! Now let's glue the base layer, which is also the layout of our house. There will be a well here, while here you can see the foundation and the dirt road. Now we can set the walls, but first let's make windows and doors. Remove the extra parts with a light movement of your hand. Here's the window. There's so many of them in this house, it's gonna be bright. Let's mark the corners of the house, this way. Bend the walls carefully, following the lines. What a sweet house is coming out! And now let's connect these parts with the help of the slots. To attach our house to the foundation, we need to add some glue. And a bit here, perfect. There. Turn it upside down. A big moment. Ta da! Done. Now it's time to make a porch for our house. And where did our independent slime go? Aquí, señora. From now on, I'm a Zorro slime. Well, Zorro slime, can you help me set the foundation for the terrace? I love heroic and dangerous deeds. Clear the way. Another day, another heroic deed. Wow, I think our Zorro did a great job. Give a thumbs up if you agree, guys. Our house should be warm, so we can't do without a chimney. Let's set it right here. My heroic duty is to tell you that the wind can blow the house away and the porch I made for it. <sighs> Good point, Zorro, but I've got everything under control. I don't know what you mean, senora. Whoa! Are there really bricks that are smaller than the ones we used for a windmill? <laughs> yep, how about that? Guys, have you seen our brick crafts? Give a thumbs up if you did. While I can't wait to begin building our house out of these tiny cute bricks, well, I think I'll start on this side. The glue will serve as the cement. And here's our first grand brick. Here comes the second one. Carefully. Well, I must say the wall is coming out nicely. It's time to make the windows. I guess you'll need this soon. Right, in a few bricks. Laying bricks, especially tiny ones like these, requires precision. Hmm, I like the result. But to speed up the process a bit, I'll add some magic. Whoa, I guess I should open my own school of magic. I'm quite a skillful magician, too, you know. Will you hire me as a teacher? Well, what can you do? A moment. Here, look. Alakazam, alakazoo! <laughs> well... Not bad, but I require a higher level of proficiency. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Moon prism power makeup like slime sand. To open. All right, let's see. Oh, amazing. Wait, what about the terrace and the roof? No magic of the world can compare with your precision, Sue. Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree with me. 
Okay, but first I'll finish making those rows you left out. Otherwise, the terrace won't be sturdy. We need to make this corner. All right. It's more convenient to lay some of the bricks using tweezers. The point is not to rush. I feel like a real jeweler. <laughs> The porch looks very lovely. Here comes the final touch. Yes, yeah, Sammy, you're right. One brick goes here. And the second one here. I'll decorate the floor of the terrace with textured tiles. Let's set the base of the column here. Perfect! The final part of our terrace is the roof. Let's apply some glue here. And connect these parts. Now I'm applying the glue to the part that will be connected to the house. I can attach the roof to the house now. Perfect! Susie, it's time to place the tiles. Yes, but on the roof, not on your face. <laughs> apply some glue again carefully. Let's place the first piece here. And the second one next to it. What a cozy terrace! I bet it's a pleasure having a siesta here. I don't understand why siestas exist only in some countries. After a handful of candies for lunch, I need a rest too. Well, the reason is the climate. At noon, the sun is especially hot, so it's not exactly healthy for the body. So taking a nap inside a cool house is the best solution. And the best solution for us is to continue the construction. Each brick brings me closer to rest. <laughs> I guess this house is about to win Sam's heart. <laughs> oh, he totally forgot about his submarine. Brick by brick, soon the house will be ready. I can't wait to see the result. What about you guys? I'm already making the main part of the chimney. I'll finish this wall soon. The wall with the chimney is done! Phew, I could build real houses after such practice. <laughs> anyway, it's time to make the roof. Let's place this framework here and cover it with the tiles. The Spanish house is ready! Let's get to the landscaping. While Sam the hard worker will build the road to the place of rest. Oh, where do I pour this, Sue? Oh, Sammy, first you'll need the glue. Right, the road to siesta must be durable. All right! Ha 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 ha! Good. Okay, I'm tired. Ugh, I get the hardest work as usual. But that's okay, I can easily manage this. We should spread the glue well on the surface, so the dirt spreads evenly too. Perfect! Now let's pour the dirt, moving along the marked line. Right! Our road is ready, but the well is still missing. That's better. There is no house in warm Spain without a green lawn. Let's start painting from this corner with a number. Apply the paint carefully. Don't rush not to stain anything around. Let's add some green around the porch. Beautiful! Be careful not to color our road accidentally, too. Finishing touch! And the lawn by the house is ready! Wait a moment, that's hardly the finishing touch. Let's make it look more real. Great idea, but first let's apply some glue to the lawn this way. And a bit here too. Wow, perfect! Now let's spread it carefully with a wide brush. This lawn has many layers. <laughs> you should do it rather quickly before the glue dries. Time to add the grass!
What a wonderful lawn we made! These plants will complete the look. There can't be too much green. Today we have something really interesting for you. We're going to build another castle. Remember when we built one last time? Yeah, shoot, that time we used bricks. I got paper now. I need a castle, a fortress, not a hut that can be easily blown away. <sighs> Relax, Sammy, it's just the layout. Believe me, this is gonna be solid and good looking. Uh, first, apply the glue to the base like this. We're gonna need lots of glue today. <laughs> Whoa, shoo, so much glue. Unbelievable. Uh-huh. And now goes the layout of the castle. What do you say, Sammy? Is this big enough? Huh, are you sure it's not gonna be for an elephant? Cause so far, he really looks like one. <laughs> I'm sure, Sammy. But I love your vivid imagination. Thumbs up if you agree, guys. This will be the bridge over the river. And here we'll have four columns, or shall I say towers. For the archers to protect the king. Oh, hello, Mr. Sam Hood, the slime of Sherwood. <laughs> so cool! Why are you laughing, Shoe? Don't you think Robin Hood was a nobleman of his time? Stealing from the rich to help the poor. Classic. Why don't you distribute your goods evenly, then? Like, take all your sweets and share them with the hungry? If you want a cookie, Shoe, you can just ask for it. I have to check my stash right now just in case somebody with good stealing skills who pursues noble aims passed by it. These little strips will help to hold the framing of the castle. Let's see. Let's add even more glue. There you go. And now we'll attach the strip like that. Hmm. Maybe we should use some magic to quicken the process up a little bit. Huh? Perfect. Juicy, look what I made. I think you'll need this part right away. Thank you, Sammy. Now we'll once again need some glue to attach these parts to the foundation. Our two rectangular parts go like this. <laughs> Looks great to me. It will make sure that our high castle would stand properly on its base. <laughs> That's right, Sammy. I'm impressed with your knowledge. It's like you're one of the best castle architects. And as a final touch, we'll glue the upper part like this. As I said before, don't spare the glue. Be careful. Like this. Now we can close the lid. All done. Ugh, finally. Looks awesome. Okay, the centerpiece of our craft is ready to be attached to the foundation. Done. Now we're gonna need to make towers. We glue the connecting parts this way. Easy! Wow, Shoe, you're doing great! Voila, the towers are in their places! Whoa, Shoe, show our viewers how to make the bridge! Sure thing. Did you guys know that fortresses like this are usually called bridge castles? Uh, Shoe, I hope you understand that the bridge should be super solid. <laughs> of course, Yami. If you want, you can test the bridge yourself later on. And now it's time for the longest yet very interesting part of this craft. We need to glue the bricks all over the framing. Shoo, they really look like those rocks they built medieval castles with. <laughs> That's the trick, Sammy. Ahem. <sighs> okay, okay. Your castle, Sir Sam. <laughs> Shoo, from now on, that is how you should call me. Am I right, guys? Hit the bell button if you also think so. Do you honestly think that people had this title only had it because they liked the way it sounds? Well, yeah, it's obvious. <laughs> no, Sammy. Long ago, it was a high honor to become a knight. Those brave guys were entitled sirs and were given certain privileges, like lands or small castles, for example. Whoa, 
looks pretty good. Nice work, Susan. Thanks. But now we have to adjust the bricks a little bit more to make them look more like an arch. For that, we'll need to get them wet. Then it'll be easy to give the bricks the desired shape. We need to do it like this. That's awesome, Sue. Guys, be super careful with sharp tools that are asking adults to help. Now it perfectly matches the layout. So cool. We'll also make some decor so that the castle walls won't just look flat. How's it going, Susie? <laughs> Sammy, I thought you went on the search for good deeds. I actually did one good deed. I saved our kitchen from the sweets invasion. Hmm, aren't you the one who made this invasion happen? Right. You have to tell me what I should do to become a knight. Well, I see bricks and I see walls, so... Oh, oh, oh I can do that. Uh, watch me. All done. Wow, now you're talking, Sir Sam. Guys, you have to give a thumbs up if you're also as impressed as I am. Aww. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what a shy slime. That's something new. Oh, we have so many bricks to go. I guess you're already tired. Let me help you show. Bibbity, bobbity, subscribe Oh, wow. Wow, Sam. You did help me a lot. We also have these gray texture tiles, guys. We're going to glue them on flat surfaces of the bridge and on the top of the castle. We'll apply some glue like that. Here comes our tile. Whoa, that's some kind of magical bridge. <laughs> Yeah, sure, if you say so. So, what do you say, Sammy? Huh, something's missing here. Agree? Oh, right, Sammy. You'll need a special space for your archers to be protected here on the top of the tower. Done! These are called Merlins, guys. Now I am satisfied. Beware and behold, Sam's castle's gonna rock! Hey, Susie! I heard that normally castles were built on little hills! That's right, Sammy! We'll have to do some landscaping, and we'll need some plaster cast. Let's dissolve it in water stirring constantly like this. Now, guys, we'll have to work really fast because the plaster cast gets hard in no time. Ew, this paste looks like porridge. Ugh. We'll put all this around our castle, forming it like the ground of a hill. By the way, in the Middle Ages, castles were strengthened like this so that it was impossible to dig a tunnel under it. Be careful, Sue. Don't make the castle dirty. Don't worry, Sammy. Everything will be very clean. I promise. Guys, don't rush here and move steadily to make it neat. But you can still make a little mess since we're imitating real rocks here. And they are far from being ideally and perfectly flat. And we're done! All is dry now. Let's make some cracks in it. Here I am, Susan, your devoted helper. But please, Sue, be very careful. Would you guys ask adults to help? Guys, remember that the rock doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. I guess that's enough. What's next? Our next step here is painting. <laughs> we'll start with the brown color. Mmm, this paint spreads very well. Let's add a lighter shade of brown. Sue, so 
I hope you remember that our castle should not get all dirty. Sure. Here come the last touches. This won't be a hill without green grass, am I right? As always, but to make the grass stick to the place we want it to be, we'll need some glue. Wow, so it's gonna be the best hill in the world! So check out the decor I found for our castle! Let's glue a few bushes around. One goes here. And another one here. <laughs> I feel like I could be a landscape specialist. <laughs> yeah, a medieval one. <laughs> and now we'll add more magic. Yay! Oh, you did great, Sammy. But I have another idea. We'll add some small decorative stones. It'll look very cool. 